Hey guys, I want to show you a new tablet that I just got. Um, I got this off eBay. It was only $45, but I know the MSRP on this is actually very, very low. Um, it's an HP tablet product called the Stream 7. It's a Windows 8 tablet, which, in my opinion, the specs look pretty good. It had an Intel Atom processor, so it could run... Um, programs if you wanted to, you know, like like Steam if you wanted to stream to it, um, as well as it could run 3D applications because the newest Atom processor can actually run um, 3D fairly well, um, but I'll show you that in a bit. Um, with this product, it's actually quite basic. I mean, this is something that you'd find on Amazon, like Chinese knockoffs almost, really, um, and by that I mean... It shows nothing on the back. And this is the official product. So, yeah. <laughs> it's All it says is HP and the product. That's, that's it. You're getting the Stream 7, and that's all. <laughs> Inside the box, this is all. This is all that I got with it. Got the quick start guide, warranty, and a very generic Windows <sighs> pamphlet that gives you shortcut keys. There are no shortcut keys on this tablet. What the hell? Are you serious? <laughs> it's a tablet. It doesn't have a keyboard. I don't need a pamphlet like that. That's stupid. Warranty uh, and the quick start, um, which is just, I don't know, it says press the power button, that's it. Uh, here's all your ports on here. All right, so you got headphone jack, you have a USB, it's a, it's a, I think it's a, I don't know, a micro USB. It's got a front facing camera, rear facing camera, power, volume up down, SD card slot. I will not. S Okay, and then there's like some type of muting thing. I actually haven't used that yet. There's a some type of muting, it looks like? I'm not sure. And then, uh, of course, there's a Windows Home button. Actually, the SD card slot, I don't think I saw before. Um, here we go. See, this is really something that Windows should be throwing in with everything. The gestures, you know? <laughs> um, it's kind of cool. They show even. Look at that. Using a micro SD card. <laughs> so you might be asking yourself, where would I plug in a USB device into one of these? As the, that's that weird mute thing that I was talking about. I don't understand how that works at all, because I have, I thought it was an SD card slot. <laughs> that's really what it looks like, doesn't it? All right, so we'll flip it over. It's the power volume up, volume down. There's supposed to be an SD card slot on the side here. That's what it showed on the box anyways, but I don't see it anywhere. <sighs> I must be talking about the micro SD card slot when you pop this uh, back plate off. As you can see, the logo is already starting to fade on it a little bit. I can't even get that in the shot. See, it's all scratched up. Um... This is your only USB cable, and you have an audio cable right there. If you want to plug in one of these, a thumb thumbstick, you're going to need one of these. That's what they use for power as well. So I'm going to turn on my tablet to show you. Um, go home, go to the desktop. Go to computer. All right, plug in this. Okay, crossover cable plugs in like that. There's the other end. And there's the USB thumbstick. Okay, so 
So here's the tablet. It reflects really bad, <laughs> um, but that's okay. Um, it's kind of just, I, I like I like how, it's called the Stream 7 because it has a seven inch screen, obviously. That's why it's called that. Uh, by the way, I forgot to show the power brick, I'm sorry. Here's the power brick. It's just a little, small little brick. That's all it is. Cable is, I don't know, fairly long, three and a half feet. Something like that, four feet. Now, I, with all Windows 8 products, uh, as, as far as tablets, I mean, you really have to use Internet Explorer for the most part because it has the best user interface. Uh, but I do use um, Google Chrome, um, which is nice because with the Atom processor, like I said, you can run x86 applications. Is it laggy? Not really. Um, it's actually quite touch-oriented. The only issue is with touching onto these little tiny X's to close out everything and up. Oh, see, I was just trying to press on the address bar, I accidentally closed it. That's the thing, it's too it's too small. I think you can adjust it maybe through fonts or something. If you make the fonts bigger, it'll make the URL bar bigger. I don't know, but wow, is it ever difficult to click on certain stuff. But yeah, it's not as bad as you think. I'll show you some of the video playback later. What's really cool is you can play Hearthstone. So that's kind of what I use it for because I uh, an Android device is my phone, um, but for a, an, an iOS device, I don't have an iOS device. This is actually my only tablet that I have, other than my computer. My computer is technically a tablet because it can it's a transformer, but this is a little bit, a much smaller form factor on this. Like I said, if I get a case and I can prop this up, I can sync a Bluetooth uh, keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse with it. Um, but I'll show Hearthstone real quick. And I will not say anything runs at 60 frames here because, uh, I mean, in best case scenario, it's maybe, you know, <laughs> maybe 30. I'll say somewhere between 30 and 60. It's at a smooth rate. It's at a very playable rate. Now, the good thing about Steam is if you have Steam and you can do streaming across your local internet, that means you can play really any game because on Steam streaming, you can add World of Warcraft. All right. Um, there's yeah, Solo Adventure. Come on. I'm playing this on a granite table, so it's really wants to slide on me. Do not slide, please. I was playing easy. One. <laughs> I'm not good at this game whatsoever, but uh, I'm trying. It's fun to play. Loading takes a little long, you know, I mean, just because of limited RAM has kind of small RAM, I'm not going to lie. Um, the RAM and the hard drive space is always what holds back these tablets. Um, but I mean, I only paid 45 bucks, what do I care? See how smooth those animations were? I mean, 30 frames or above, definitely. Whatever, we'll just play with that, I don't care. Wow, not good. Okay. Deal two damage. Oh. May as well. Alright. So far, so good. No skips, no slowdowns. It's doing good. I mean, if anything, for all the serious Hearthstone players out there, I would say buy this, buy this just for that. I mean, <laughs> just for that alone, right? See, not a single hiccup. All those spell effects, very nice. That may have slowed down actually at 30 frames there. I saw a little bit, a smidgen of slowdown, but that was not much at all. All right. So I think that pretty much says everything right. Now, could you run Photoshop on here? 
Probably not. Uh, the Photoshop application, maybe. Or if you're running it remotely using, um, like I said, Steam. You can With Steam, you can actually stream Photoshop. You can stream all any application, really. So let's go back into Start. Let's uh, go ahead and play a YouTube video. Please, without knocking it over. <laughs> very it, The screen is very responsive, by the way. Uh, all right, let's watch this one. Yep. That's what I love about this Metro 2 app. It looks so nice. Oh, oh no. I can't hear anything. Hey! So you might be wondering where we're headed right now. Well, after nearly 100 episodes of Game Theory, one of the things I've always wanted to do is take gamers off of our couches and actually put us through the extreme situation. See, and that was like maybe 480, 480p quality. It was nowhere near perfect, but that's okay. Now, I'm sure for one of the major things that you guys wanted to see, uh, you could also do, as you see here, I have XBMC installed because, once again, x86 allows you to install Kodi. I'll show you something that's baffling to me, why it doesn't run very well on this, but Bejeweled 3. I bought it for Steam because, I, like I said, um, Bejeweled 3, you know, I like Bejeweled. Bejeweled is a great game. It was very cheap on Steam. But why it runs like complete garbage on this tablet, I have no idea. I lowered the quality as low as it can go on this thing. And still, it runs like crap. See, it says right here, try a lower resolution if gameplay is choppy. I, let me see. Let me see if that option even exists. And it's laggy. It's like running at 15 to 20 frames. That was like five frames, that whole animation. This whole thing is like five frames. Barely could run that. This is okay. This uh, The gameplay is just fine. But as soon as it starts doing an animation, it just kills it. It completely <laughs> obliterates any sort of smoothness it had just a second ago. Which I don't understand. So basically, once you get into the game, you can play it just fine. You're not going to have any issues. Um, uh, let me see how fast I can finish it. Because when it starts playing that final animation, that's when you're going to really see a slowdown. Let me show you. There, there. That slowed down to like five frames there. But I mean, if you're just after playing the game itself, and you don't really care about the animations or anything, that's okay. But it, you know, as a as a guy who likes computer hardware and stuff like that, and thinks that what you pay for, um, you know, I forty five bucks. What are you gonna get out of it? Not a whole lot. But here, watch. God, that was like. All right, so I'm pretty much done with that. Uh, the other thing is that application is actually quite hard to get out of. Um, I mean, once I swap out, it can minimize it, so I can close it right here. I mean, that made it a little bit easier. All right, but check this out. That makes no sense because here's Hungry Shark Evolution. Great game, by the way. I mean, let's put both my thumbs on here. <laughs> that's how you play it. Ubisoft. I'm guessing just they're just the publisher, I think. Yeah, FGOL is the actual developers who made the game. Uh, let's play... Loading times are a little long, you know. If I play on my SSD, it loads pretty much instantaneously. If I play it on here, which has an M... What are those things called? The it, It's just a really small version of the SSD. It doesn't have as fast read-write times, but... See, this runs very, very, very well. 30 frames plus, at least.
It's a very addicting game to play. I'll just jump out of the water for a second. This game has much more 3D than Bejeweled has, you know what I mean? Bejeweled is just a bunch of basically two-dimensional, because I said don't do three-dimensional, and uh, so I was running two-dimensional images with just a bunch of crappy effects, and it ran like crap. I mean, I think just that build of the game is probably not good or something for low-end devices. Okay, I think we're good there. <laughs> Um, you know, what else is to show you? Here's a uh, Major Mayhem. This one runs very well. Um, another 30 to 60 frames per second game. Not much lag at all. <clears throat> I don't know, unless uh, unless it is the Atom processor has an issue with some two-dimensional graphics. I don't know, maybe it, it prefers 3D. <laughs> all right, I don't see it. I got one star on all the missions so uh you can tell this is not going to be pretty <laughs> as soon as i start okay jump grenade see it runs beautifully windows 8 apps run great and some executable files uh, don't run maybe as well you know what, maybe that's it. Maybe Windows 8 apps, because they're ran in JavaScript. Usually. Windows 8 apps are usually not in executable form. Probably why. <laughs> Probably why these run better, even though they are 3D. They're a type of mesh, really. Alright. I won't show you too much of that. Uh, Reddit, <laughs> obviously it's going to run just fine, a um, little bit of lag there, see, very smooth. User interface is very smooth with it. You can use it for Skype. Um, the quality of the camera, I don't know. I would guess is pretty low on it. It's just probably enough for streaming. Don't expect any super high definition or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, that's really it. It's just a Windows 8 small form factor tablet, which is kind of neat to take along with you. I mean, really? Now, how good is the battery? The battery, I would say, and this is kind of weird, I'll show you just really quick here. If I press more power options, balance is my only option. I don't know if you can see that, I don't know if my hand was in the way. Balance, that's it. It's like, what? There's supposed to be high performance, you know, and a bunch of other options. But nope, just balance. 